The mission was to design an epic photo set for our friend's birthday party and drive it all the way across the country from Richmond, Virginia to Los Angeles, California, rock out some photo shoots on the set, and make the drive home. It might seem crazy to build a set and drive it all the way across the country, but for us, that just added to the adventure. This was a detailed set with all sorts of paneling. The biggest challenge was doing the math to figure out how to make the set fit in the truck bed. Once we sorted that out, we moved on to paint. All of the paneling made it a challenging set to paint and it took a lot longer than expected. Luckily, we finished just in time. Then we loaded the set into the truck. Road trip to California is underway. We are fully packed. Set is in the truck bed, currently in West Virginia. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. What are you doing? You know, just at a rest stop in Kentucky, making some roadside PB&Js. We made great time through West Virginia, Kentucky, and Missouri, but then we hit Kansas. God damn. This storm was unreal. Thanks to Nick's driving, we made it to the hotel safe and sound. We made it to Junction City, Kansas last night, spent the night getting ready to take off again, head to Vegas this morning. But check out this beautiful sunrise. We cruised through day two. Kansas is one flat place. I don't know if I did a video by accident. What up? Hey, followers. 20 plus hours in the car. We're Kansas. And then we hit Colorado, and things got interesting. Hey, Mike. We drove through the mountainous terrain of Colorado with epic views in every direction. I think this may have been my favorite part of the drive. Everything was so pretty, we had to make a pit stop for some photo ops. And then we were off again. Hi, Nick. Utah did not disappoint. The terrain got rockier and redder with every mile. We made another pit stop at Black Dragon Canyon. Apparently the rocks here are really, really old. Everything just kept getting prettier and prettier as the sun started to set. The day was coming to an end, so we had to refuel so we could make it to our hotel in Las Vegas. These sunsets were so gorgeous. You look, you look like an angel. <laughs> look like an angel. <laughs> Man, that was one long hallway. Today's journey was over 20 hours long, and I was beat. You can't go to Las Vegas without having a little bit of fun, so we did some sightseeing before taking off for the final stretch to Los Angeles. And we made it. It took us three days, 48 hours, and 2,721 miles. Now it was time to assemble the set. David designed it so well and everything went together perfectly. It just needed some touch-up paint and a few adjustments. We hit up Home Depot to grab some sand for the floor of the set. This set is called Fallen Pixel in the Desert. I'm so excited! Yeah. Hi, hi. 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 
head for an amazing night. And an amazing night it was. We rocked out wild, conceptual, and hilarious photo shoots. The set was such a hit. The next day, we decided to explore Joshua Tree. Check out this Airbnb. This is what I call a desert oasis. The scenery was so pretty and I went crazy shooting roll after roll of film. There was just so much to photograph and one of the best parts about traveling with friends is you get to photograph them. Really though, Joshua Tree is magical. If you've never been, add it to your bucket list ASAP. We headed back to LA for one beautiful last night and took in the views. There's just something about this city at night. And then it was time to head back. We took the middle route home because it was the fastest. We got a late start and hit traffic, so we only made it as far as Arizona by nightfall. And the only open restaurant around was this sketchy taco place. But it actually turned out to be delicious. We got an early start the next day to make up for the lost time. We drove and drove and drove. When we hit Oklahoma, a crazy dust storm erupted and we were borderline concerned that there was going to be a tornado. Luckily, that never happened, but it did make the drive through the middle of America a little more exciting. David really didn't want to stop again, so he decided to drive through the night. He chugged a bang energy drink and was ready to roll. Somehow David pulled it off and it was morning before we knew it. We still had a solid eight hours ahead of us though as we trekked through Tennessee and Virginia. But we made it. We built a set, drove it to California, did cool shoots, adventured in Joshua Tree and drove all the way home. Like this video and subscribe for more adventures and wild photo shoots.